This is Meat Boy. This is Bandage Girl. And this, well, this is Nugget, their little bundle of joy. Aww. This is Dr. Fetus. He's not a real doctor. Wow. <clears throat> One day, while our heroes were enjoying life, Dr. Fetus attacked them! When our heroes came too and couldn't find Nugget, they knew what they had to do. Hey folks, I'm Damon Baker, the penultimate boss of the publisher and developer relations team at Nintendo of America. This is my final form, and that was Super Meat Boy Forever, the beefy sequel to the beloved game that gave Team Meat an awesome anagram for a name. Like the original Super Meat Boy game, you'll find your meaty self leaping off walls, dodging buzz saws, and doing other things that'll make you feel alive by almost killing you. Only this time, the fun never has to end, literally. Levels get harder each time you beat them. Keeping things fresh is ground beef and clean wrap. And an updated control scheme, new ranking system, and daily challenges will keep you coming back for more. Super Meat Boy Forever will make its debut on Nintendo Switch next year. Games like Super Meat Boy Forever remind us that there are some things you just can't find in other art forms. And what better representation of that than to film here at MoPop, the Museum of Pop Culture in Seattle. This amazing museum not only embodies the influence that games, music, TV, and movies have brought to the world, but it will also be the setting of our annual Nindies at Night event on August 31st, which kicks off PAX West with an open to the public event not to be missed. We'll be live streaming from the event, so if you don't have a chance to visit us here in Seattle, be sure to tune in for developer interviews, gameplay reveals, and maybe even an announcement or two from our partners. And speaking of announcements, we have a metric ton in store for you. From expertly crafted retro style games to experimental titles on the cutting edge of the indie games industry. Today, you're gonna see a bit of both and everything in between. First, let's see what's next for the 8-bit world of Shovel Knight. King Knight's Royal Adventure is the final campaign in Yacht Club's Shovel Knight Treasure Trove Saga, and it's bigger and grander than ever. In the Gilded Goon's own prequel, Travel through four new worlds and more than 30 all-new courses on a mission to best the Three Kings. Discover how King Knight ascended to the throne and became one of the Order of New Quarter in this quirky quest. Collect new weapons, armors, and abilities to look your dandiest as you pummel your foes with your signature bash attack. Had your fill of glamorous adventure? Then unwind and sharpen your strategic mind by competing in card battles with future subjects from across the land. You can dig into Shovel Knight, King of Cards in early 2018. Now let's take a look at our next game, which should bring back some fond memories for anyone who has ever loved a game so much, your mom had to hide it from you. Mom Hid My Game may seem like a simple seek and find game about seeking and finding a game, and well, it is, but you've really got to push your imagination to solve each stage. Both the Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS versions will include some exclusive stages when it launches later this year. And in the end, you may just learn to see all the fun hiding around you in everyday life. Maybe. Either way, it's definitely a great way to diversify your Nintendo Switch library. Role-playing is almost always about knights hitting monsters with swords and arrows, and you know, that's great. But how about an RPG where your weapon of choice is a set of clubs? Golf clubs, that is. Enter Golf Story, a massive journey through the wild world of golf, where each new area you visit contains new courses, towns, locals, and secrets to aim for. This sporting saga has a dramatic story with a diverse cast of characters to meet, challenges to beat, upgrades to earn, and equipment to collect, not to mention disc golf, mini golf, and drone flights. Golf Story will launch this September, exclusively on Nintendo Switch. 
With all these announcements, maybe you need a little break. Breakbeat, that is. All right, okay. I admit it, I got carried away there, but once you experience Floor Kids from the folks at Merge Media, you'll feel the same way. Check it out for yourself. This rhythm-based action game will give you the expressive control you need to feel the funk and find your style. In a series of breakdance sessions, you'll bust out some fresh moves, earn respect, and recruit a diverse set of dancers as you reach new locations. Play the way you like in single or multiplayer modes with either traditional controls or touchscreen gestures. Amazing hand-drawn visuals by indie creator John John and a soundtrack by the one and only Kid Koala make this a must-have title when the game launches first on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Many of us have fond memories of destroying enemies and tokens during the arcade scene of the 80s and the 90s, but now Wolverblade is bringing back that beat-em-up list, no tokens required. The hand-drawn art lends to the cinematic nature steeped in the deepest lore of Britannia, depicting real people and places from ancient Britain. You and a friend can bring beautiful vengeance on your enemies as you travel from torchlit woodlands to Roman forts. Wolverblade will storm the Nintendo eShop this September when it launches first on Nintendo Switch. You don't have to be an architect to flex your engineering muscles in Polybridge, the bridge building simulator that proves it's just as fun to fix things up as it is to watch them fall to pieces. Hundreds of levels and hours of physics-based puzzle solving will gear you up to jump in the sandbox and create your own incredible bridges, puzzle levels, and absurdities to show your friends. I can't wait to see what you mad geniuses come up with when it launches this holiday on Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive. Up next, our friends at Cardboard Computer and Annapurna Interactive are pleased to introduce you to a magical realist adventure game about a secret highway in the caves beneath Kentucky. Check it out. We're excited to announce that Kentucky Route Zero TV Edition is coming to Nintendo Switch, including the debut of the long-awaited fifth and final act of the series. In this episodic tale, an antique furniture delivery man trying to make his small shop's last delivery gets lost along the way and meets a haunted TV repair woman, a young boy and his giant eagle brother, a pair of robot musicians, and dozens of other characters. Together, they explore the nocturnal highways and country roads of Kentucky, the storied Echo River by ferry, and the mysterious Route Zero, the secret highway that runs through Mammoth Cave. Kentucky Route Zero TV Edition, which includes all five acts and interludes, launches on Nintendo Switch early next year. Earth Atlantis is digital proof that side-scrolling shooters can be more than a blast from the past. They can also offer a startling look into the future, one where an impending disaster called the Great Climate Shift of the 21st century covered 96% of the Earth in merciless water. 
As one of the last survivors of humanity, you must explore this new underwater world and hunt down monstrous creature-machine hybrids. Multiple ships with special weapons and a power-up system will bring the fight to the ocean floor when Earth Atlantis launches first on Nintendo Switch this fall. Next up, the debut game from Digital Continue. Founded by industry veteran Joe Terngali, executive producer of Scribblenauts, Locks Quest, and Drawn to Life. It's called Next Up Hero, and it's a community-driven online action game where everybody dies, but the fighting spirit lives on. When one hero falls, an echo is left behind, and the next hero can revive them as an AI companion. As a result, you'll take turns fighting and dying beside your friends until entire armies fall before you. Choose from nine heroes and wield everything from swords to rockets to bongo drums. When the game launches on Nintendo Switch in early 2018, complete with a Joy-Con co-op mode. In our first Nindy Showcase last February, we had the privilege of debuting SteamWorld Dig 2. But there was one dirty little secret we left buried deep below the earth. When the heck can you play it? Perhaps this new trailer from Image and Form will help. Enjoy. In her search for answers, she dug up more than she bargained for. The caves. The companions. The upgrades. The dangers. Steam World Dig 2. A first of its kind game. Again. Now, let's return to the surface of the Earth so we can explore a corner of it rarely seen in fiction. I'll let the trailer get us started. The developers at Lienzo have created this lush game world inspired by the Taromara's wondrous Sierra and its inhabitants. Famous for their running skills, they were once known as skilled warriors. And so you must live up to your ancestry by battling mythical creatures, solving puzzles, and undergoing magical transformations. Wield the power of the gods on your quest to become a true Sakurame when Malaka releases on Nintendo Switch with exclusive features and functionality early next year. There's only one problem with adventure games, a distinct lack of elephants. But never fear, Yono is here, and he's basically a one mammal army. He can run, open chests with his trunk, headbutt bad guys, spray water, blow flames, push blocks, throw explosives, mess with chickens, you know, hero stuff. But it's just so cute when he does it. Elephants never forget, and you shouldn't either. This game launches on Nintendo Switch October 12th as a console exclusive. Inti Creates has already released some amazing content on Nintendo Switch, including Blaster Master Zero and Mighty Gunvolt Burst. It's safe to say they kinda know what they're doing. And that's why I'm thrilled to show you their next big thing, Dragon Marked for Death. It's a side-scrolling action RPG that you can play alone or with up to three friends via local or online play. No matter what, you'll forge a pact with a dragon to gain new strength. Protect the party as a warrior, become the empress of attack power, fool your foes as a shinobi trickster, or use the witch's magic to heal and attack. With 30 enormous quests, you'll have hours and hours of action to fight through when the game launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch this winter.
Fantasy fans have endless appetites, and apparently not just for adventure. Orcs, elves, and humans have one thing in common, a need to feed. And that means they need to hunt for ingredients. Of course, I'm talking about Battle Chef Brigade from Trinket Studios and Adult Swim Games. It's one part combo-based action game, one part match three puzzler, and an all-around feast for fans of 2D animation. Discover each character's personality and cooking style as you play through their campaigns, or challenge the leaderboards when the game launches first on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Our team is constantly looking for popular genres that may be missing from our catalog, and that's why we're pumped to introduce you to a brand new shooter for Nintendo Switch that's unlike anything you've ever seen. Morphe's Law is sure to cause mass hysteria when it launches first on Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive. Have you ever wanted to play a physics sports game about adorable floppy necked animals competing on a reality TV show? I know this guy has. Well, look no further as Sausage Sports Club features multiple game modes, arenas, and playable characters, which should provide the fuel needed for up to eight players to roast each other. You can even control your silly animal's flopping head with Joy-Con motion control. Check it out when it launches first on Nintendo Switch this fall. In Light Fingers, one to four players manipulate a magical clockwork board in this turn-based multiplayer game featuring real-time challenges, devious opportunities for misdirection, and of course, lots of loot. With procedurally generated boards, you'll never fight the same battle twice, and support for tabletop mode makes it the perfect portable board game for you and your friends. Play nice, or not, when Lightfingers launches first on Nintendo Switch early next year. We've all heard of beat-em-up games, but what about a blast-em-up game? This is Nine Parchments, a local and online co-op game for up to four players about wannabe wizards on a fast track to almighty power. As you battle strange creatures and mighty bosses, you'll wield an ever-changing arsenal of spells, unlock new characters, level them up, and earn new hats and staves. The breathtaking world of the Trine series is yours to protect when the game launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. All right, folks, we have one more game to reveal. I'm really glad that we saved it to the end because we would have melted your faces off. It's my honor to introduce the latest game from the punk rock styling of Suda51 and Grasshopper Manufacture. Enjoy. Take one more step, and you're dead. It's too late. Now you're screwed, old man. You wanna play? Let's play. Bring it, nerd. Pay your debt. Wait for a long time. 
this new generation of gamers out there. Let me at least introduce myself. Grab it, gotcha. You murdered my dog. Don't pretend you forgot me. Now you're just gonna confuse people. They need to know about the most hardcore assassin in video games. You bastard! We're trying to butter up the gamers. Your fight is here in the real world. As you can see, the indie influence is alive and well in No More Heroes, Travis Strikes Again, combining the eclectic style of Grasshopper manufacture and a number of collaborations with prominent indie developers. Seven years have passed since the events of No More Heroes, and the Bat is here to exact his revenge on Travis for the murder of his daughter, Bad Girl. Just as the battle begins, the two men are inhaled by a phantom game console, the Death Drive Mark II. The only way out? beat all six games and their respective bosses. Travis Touchdown will have his hands full when the game launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch next year, so stay tuned for more updates. Thanks to all the amazing independent publishers and developers for their support of Nintendo Switch. And thank you, the fans, for your help in making our platform the definitive home for quality indie content. Take care and see you again soon.